Hey everybody, welcome uh, to this Columbus Land Conversation. My name is John Umland. I'm Johnny D. Loretto. Uh, today we are discussing uh, Crystal Fairy, the new film from Sebastian Silva. It's a little film. It opens exclusively here at the Gateway Film Center on August 2nd. Mm -hmm. And it deserves to find an audience, John. It does. This is a sweet little movie. It is. It's surprisingly good. So it's a road movie. The basic premise is Michael Cera plays Jamie, uh, an American who has traveled to Chile to hang out with his friends and go on a quest to drink the San Pedro cactus, uh, <laughs> a, a, a plant that is famous for all hallucinogenic properties. Yeah. Michael Sarah is clearly operating in this new vein where like he's taken his sweet persona mm. and turned it into this grating American <laughs> yes. neurotic presence where like he's clearly getting on their nerves, you know, because he's so dedicated to this this journey. And along the way, they meet Gabby Hoffman who plays the Crystal Fairy in the title. She's Crystal Fairy and mm -hmm. she is a dynamic presence to say the least. Uh, she adds a whole different element. She is free-spirited and the exact uh, opposite of self-serving or yeah. so it might seem. Right. Um, it's like she's this millennial hippie. Like the new version of what a hippie is. Mm -hmm. And of course Michael Cera, you know, one could say he's kind of the contemporary Woody Allen or a Gene Wilder figure. So he's got these neurotic neurotic selfish Exactly. It's like they're coming together, they're coming at each other from a narcissistic kind of place, mm -hmm. you know, and the brothers in the middle are sort of the glue that um, that lets these relationships kind of play out. Yep. And as the film goes, you see Crystal Fairy and Jamie sort of coming from different ends, and there's this sort of moment in the end where they connect beautifully, and yeah. it's, they sort of, they learn something from each other. Really. They do, and it, it, they do learn it's, something. It's a, <laughs> it sounds trite, it but does. it's really earned. Yeah, and it's impressive because the film, a huge amount of it was ad-libbed. Like, mm -hmm. Silva would just kind of give the characters or the actors their basic premise of the scene, and they would kind of fill in the blanks. Yeah. And, you know, when you hear about films being made that way, when you see those films, often they tend to be a little rambling. Yeah. They, they don't have a lot of focus. This film is incredibly tight. You know, you have the beginning where they're, they're going to these parties, and it's very claustrophobic and loud, and there's a lot of character dialogue overlapping and then there's the the actual journey mm -hmm. and then there's the third act which takes place on the beach and they're uh, they're partaking in the San Pedro uh, <laughs> cactus which takes nine hours to cook down or something like that and what's kind of great about it is you don't know whether or not both of these characters because the brothers stay the same throughout yes. which I think is brilliant yes but uh, the transformations that the Michael Sarah and Gabby Hoffman characters undergo you don't know if that's because of the drugs or because of the act of Actually, taking the drugs. Yes. You know? I think something about the film that becomes evident after you finish it is mm -hmm. that Sebastian Silva had a vision for the entire film in his head before they started, mm -hmm. and he brought it to life through his actors. Yeah. And it that overarching visit vision is present, and, and it's amazing. And it's something that I think these kind of run-and-gun films lack. And this is a great example of a film that has that sort of off-the-cuff, um, rambling feel, but he maintains the integrity of his vision throughout. And hopefully people see this film. Yes, come see it. It opens exclusively August 2nd, right? Mm -hmm. Here at the Film Center. Um, yeah. Thank you for uh, joining us for this Columbus Land Conversation. Um, if you want to hear more of these conversations or hear us talk about other movie and ridiculous stuff, mm -hmm. Um, check out Columbus Land at the Film Center, 20 minutes before each film. Um, also, check out Columbus Land, the magazine. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot about the magazine. Yeah, it's out. You can come get it. We might need to take some more drugs here. <laughs> uh, like and subscribe uh, if you like the video. You can comment, and we'll keep talking about the movie, or head over to our Facebook to keep the conversation there. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. Everybody.